Hello, in this video I shall be discussing the analysis of a topic. The topic is need to employ ways for assessing students by the educational boards amidst the pandemic. So due to this pandemic, so many exams are cancelled or postponed by the educational boards in India and there is a huge need to give good ways to assess the students during this time. We shall analyze about that. There are this cancellation of exams uh, from various boards in the country and even the central board, the government has announced the uh, central board of secondary education exams of, nine, of 10th and 12th are postponed and ICSC, Indian Certificate for Secondary Education, Indian School Certificate, they're all, they're all postponing the exams. Even various state boards are postponing the exams or cancelling some of the exams. So all of this uh, is under the review of Ministry of Education. And not just in India, the same problem is faced in international level also. International baccalaureate is also uh, postponing the exams and its programs. IB programs are very famous programs uh, to which many students go. So by, the, by this we know that it's not uh, just in India, but the international boards are suffering out of the pandemic. And what are the challenges that India is facing because of this? Because of uh, the pandemic and lockdowns and no routine schooling, the higher courses entrance exams are the main problem that students have to face. So in one state, if the 10th or 11th boards uh, exams are postponed and in, if in another state they are postponed to a different time, both of, both of these students cannot access to this entrance exams at the same time. But these exams will be conducted in a day. And they can't go to the professional courses who, which have a set academic time period. So uh, even then these students cannot access to these professional courses when their 10th and 11th exams are not done at the right time. And the one more challenge is online classes. So most of the students in India, they don't have access to online things and they don't have access to electricity, connectivity, computers and smartphones in rural India. And TV based classes are not, uh, are not going to happen if there's no electricity. So all of these are some challenges that Indian students are facing. And uh, these must be kept in mind while educational boards are coming up with ways to uh, employ new things in the academics. One good solution to all of this is formative academic assessment, that is testing for learning. Until now, we are in summative academic assessment, which means testing of learning. So we learn a thing all through the year and we get tested it, about it uh, at the end of the year through a single annual public examination or a single exit examination. We'll have to sit uh, with a pen and a pencil and these are just called in or formal no, informal terms like pen and pencil exams. We'll have a narrow band of material like we'll have a textbook and we will get examined about that content in the textbook only. So this is a very narrow kind of assessment. But now a shift to formative academic assessment is a good thing because this is testing for learning and testing and learning go hand in hand. This is also recommended by UNESCO, United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. Because of this, the students will be knowing about strength, uh, teachers will be knowing about the strengths and weaknesses of the students and so that they can take some remedial measures and there will be individual assessment of each student and there won't be any public examination in this. The key aspects of formative academic assessment are observation, quizzes, assignments and feedbacks. So this is a, a good kind of uh, assessment in which competency of students will be increased. One example of formative assessment is CBSE CCE framework. CCE, CCE framework is nothing but uh, continuous and comprehensive evaluation framework that is adapted by CBSE in the academic year of 2009-10. But later after three, eight years it discontinued it, that's a different matter. But this well, worked well with CBSE and that must also be incorporated now with every other board in India. So uh, rather than going with summative assessment, it is good to go with formative academic assessment. For this the new tools to be adopted are Digital tools, mainly they are open source platforms like Moodle, Google, Google Classroom and all. So now we are in a remote learning situation because of uh, getting stuck at homes. We are not with routine schooling. Some management solutions must come up with the help of technology like managing online classes, managing online exams and uh, managing the various things of administrative aspects of, of the boards. They all must be coming up with solutions to manage everything online. And before just jumping into Google Classrooms, the students must be given adaptive instructions about classroom, uh, how they work and all. There must also be personalized learning continuing even in online classes, like the teachers must be able to video call each student and ask his or her problems and solutions to them. And this is one good way that uh, the 
online classes can have uh, in assessing each student individually like in normal routine classes and there must be fixing clear metrics done by the educational boards metrics is the measurement of performance now as we cannot take the exams like in summative assessment here metrics must be uh, fixed for online assessment only so for this technology must be used by the boards and what is the response of students or educational institutions they have already taken the pre board tests or internal tests and now they are using them to evaluate each student but this cannot be a permanent solution they must adopt at uh, one or the other point of time to this reformist model of formative academic assessment it is difficult to adapt uh, to this because 1.93 crore students in india are following summative academic assessment right now so there are 1.93 crore secondary students following exit exams or preparing for public exam but changing the mindset of all these students towards formative assessment uh, towards this new set is a difficult task but must be done and even national educational policy of 1986 and 2020 deemphasizes summative academic assessment so it is recommending uh, the cce model of formative academic assessment uh, even this uh, new national educational policy of 2020 is recommending this so shifting to fia is a very good thing and how to access to fia not all have facilities so in india though cbse is a is a more urbanized board most of the boards are mixed or in mixed places or in rural and urban places so that must be in the mind of the ministry of education and the boards coming to some survey details about uh, supporting this thing the survey of 1718 by unified district information system for education data of schools shows that there are 188742 schools in rural areas and 83207 schools in urban areas that means more rural schools than urban schools in india these uh, numbers are from all kinds of managements and even national sample survey data took some survey from households that showed that in rural areas only 4% houses are with computers and 15% are with internet and the rest don't have computers and internet in urban areas 23% households are with computer and 42% households are with internet so this shows that there are more uh, households in rural areas without computers without internet so how can education or fia go over there so this is a problem and even in urban areas also only 23 households have got computers so even in urban areas this is a challenge not just in rural areas so what are the reforms to take up the first reform foremost reform is to ensure access of learning before teaching or, te or enabling the student to learn the access to learn is the important uh, primary thing to be kept in mind so the state and central governments must ensure this access of learning like giving internet or free computers or free internet or one or the other way with any reforming uh, ideas they must come up the next thing is making new set of metrics so new performance measurements must come up through scientific designing for this the various scientific institutions in india must come forward to set up or to enhance the online metrics system for various educational boards and competency based plan must be prepared for assessment so competency based plan is one in which the student will be uh, competent enough to come uh, to be able to get good inquiry good knowledge uh, insights in the education so this competency based plan will be possible through cece of fia even cbse has adopted this competency based plan called competency based assessment so with the help of uh, the british council of uh, science mathematics and english with that help the cbse has adopted this in march 2021 so all other boards must also adopt to this competency based plan for assessment so that is how we can even make our students uh, with good uh, we can prepare good students with competency and also we can fight off this pandemic with formative academic assessment so that we'll have our education and academics working well even during pandemic and lockdown so this is the uh, assessment or analysis about need to employ ways for assessing students by the educational boards amidst the pandemic and thank you